Hello, welcome to the second episode of this Devil Fruit course right here. And in today's episode, we will create the tool, the eating system whatsoever. All right, let's see how far we can get in this second part right here. And I'm going to be explaining everything in depth in this course. So I'm really going to try to get into your role to see the world, to see the situation right here from your point of view and to really answer all the questions you guys could possibly have all right so first thing which we want to do is that we want to go to starter pack okay first of all wait 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 first of all make sure your explorers tab is right here your properties tab is right here and your output is right here. those are the three main tabs you want to have right here and you can enable them by right clicking on this top bar wait you guys cannot really see it yeah, right click on the top bar, then take Explorer, take Properties, take Output, and that's actually it. So, right click on Starter Pack, and then look for the tool right here, okay? So, when you have this tool model, uh, this tool instance, I'm sorry, you see, a bunch of, you see a bunch of properties right here. And let me really, really go in depth. So, you can edit the tooltip, for example so we could write some things like so we could write something like this okay and if you have ever wondered what this tooltip is for then you will learn now so when i have this tool right here and when i hover my mouse about above it you can see that it says a mysterious fruit that's basically what the tooltip is about it is basically the short description of your tool once you hover your mouse upon it the second thing we want to take a look at is this field called texture id so what is this about and if you guys already know about all of these then i'm pretty sorry for you but I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go through this so that you guys can really create the best out of this okay so you guys have paid for this course and i want you to yeah just enjoy all of the benefits i can possibly give to you so let me get a random ass doll free image okay so double fruit random ass image i'm gonna change this later on okay let's let's actually get this one so i'm gonna copy the asset id and i'm gonna put it inside of this texture id field okay as you can see it now has a value inside of there and what happens is that the image right here changes all right and this is basically what this texture id field is all about this is basically the representation of your of your tool as an image okay and this is basically the short description all right we have a bunch of other properties right here for example can be dropped if you enable this then you can drop your tool by right uh, by by uh pressing the backspace button it means if you have a fruit model and if you want to drop it then make sure this one is enabled I'm going to emphasize this property and this one right here later on. But yeah. So requires handle. Basically, when this one is ticked, this fruit only works when it has a port inside of it called handle. And this is exactly what we want to do. We want a fruit model. And a fruit model is basically a physical fruit inside of this tool. Okay? And we want to call this physical fruit handle at least the main part we want to call it handle because it makes things easier for us so it makes it makes it easier for us to weld the tool uh to to, to weld the fruit onto our right hand it makes it easier to you know just overall work with the tool itself and this is exactly what we what what we want to do so I think that I've explained too much before even going into into all of these things. So let me go into all of these things and then let me actually tell you what to do. So as you can see, I've created a port and called a handle. According to my explanation earlier, it has to work now. So working in the sense of that we are able to have this port in our right hands right here. This is exactly what happens, all right? So you're also able to do this whole Del fruit fruit stuff 
without having a port called handle okay you would need to disable this then and then you have to manually weld it via script to your right hand but it literally makes no sense to do so so you're just you're just having more work or nothing okay that's the reason why we want to work with this handle right here so what we want to do is that we have this handle right here okay let me move it inside of the workspace so this is basically our fruit model you could say so this is everything we are able to hold inside of our hand for now so what we want to do is that well we basically have two ways to approach things now so what we can do is that we could try to create a fruit model out of this thing and let me explain you what i mean so this is our handle as you can see and let me try to create a goofy ass model out of this yeah grass for example there you go let's give it a yellow color random ass yeah random ass uh, more material right here let me call this one grass and let me create a weld instead of here i'm not gonna go that much into welding yet i'm gonna do it in the next episode because the next episode is going to be very important if you want to create your own fruit molds okay so my goal is really to 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 set you up to make your own stuff okay so that you guys know the ways of creating your own things and getting them to work okay so there are two ways on how we can work with this handle the first one is that we involve the handle inside of the fruit model itself and what do i mean by this as you can see the handle is this golden part right here it means it is a part of the fruit okay and if we put this inside of our tool then we are actually holding so we are holding the handle the handle part which is this golden part okay now you guys you guys might ask okay what else can we do so what kind of alternative is there because this seems to be the only option for you yet but i can assure you there's another option so let me get a random ass double fruit model from here so from the toolbox do not worry we are not gonna use this i'm just gonna I'm just gonna take one so i'm just gonna try to take a good looking one a complicated looking one just to emphasize things right here so let's take this ito ito no me okay so this is our new food model okay i mean this is our old one remember the handle right here is involved inside of the fruit model and by uh, by involved I'm, i mean it is a part so if i delete this handle and keep the grass part then a major part of the fruit is gone okay that's how you can tell it is a part of the fruit now what else can you do you might ask yeah i could shrink this down as you can see and what i can do is that i can now get rid of all of these things right here these unnecessary things now i can move the handle to this Devil fruit right here wait yeah so that our devil fruit model which we want to have in our hands is actually inside of the hand okay so make sure that your handle right here covers up this devil fruit model all right so no part right here should should stick out if it if it does then it is no problem as well but just make sure that the majority of the fruit model really stays covered inside of this handle so what we can do now is that we can set the transparency of this handle to one and voila as you can see there is only the dull fruit model so this ito ito no mi left now let me put these inside of here let me weld them so that we can actually use them so it is very important if you do this so this is the second option i was gonna tell you if you do this, then make sure that all of the actual dollar fruit parts are welded onto the handle. So that's the only thing you have to take care of. But we will go into detail, okay? So do not worry. This is just a short overview of what you can do. So what I... 
put this back into the starter pack and when i now decide to equip this you guys see that wait ah uh, it is anchored come on man oh come on can collide faults anchored faults massless true there we go so when i decide to equip this now as you can see yeah okay so i have to play around with with uh, the grip position right here come on where is it point uh yeah maybe that's that's pretty fine okay there we go so this is the perfect position but as you can see it now looks like we actually have the fruit model itself welded onto our right hand equipped onto our right hand when we literally just have this handle this handle part and so do not forget we still have this handle part in our hand not the fruit model okay so it is just invisible that's the reason why you think that we are actually holding the dull fruit model when we are actually holding the handle part right here all right so those are the two ways to approach these things and do not worry i'm gonna go into detail okay so so what else can i show you so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you welding once we are creating our own fruit model so i'm not gonna show you how to weld properly yet i'm gonna delete this what i'm gonna do is that actually nah i'm gonna i'm gonna end the video here so a 12 minute video but look i really want you guys to understand how things work to be able to do your own stuff to to be able to think about your own ways to approach all of these things okay so i've literally took 12 minutes now to explain <coughs> how to create two or, or or i've presented you two ways of welding a handle into your right hand okay but it is important that you guys understand these two ways so that you're able to you know work with your own dull fruit models okay so this might seem a little bit unnecessary to you but trust me it is not and we will take a lot of time to go step by step to really go into depth to really understand how things work because that is very very important i think and if you have paid for this course then i'm sure that you're highly interested in learning something and not here to grab the model because i'm not i'm not gonna put any model into the description so do not expect me to put any dull fruit model in the description man okay you are here to learn and not to grab any free model with that being said see you in the next episode and the next episode is probably not going to be about creating a Delphrid model yet it is probably going to be about scripting this tool and then setting it up to you know to have a Delphrid model and then the third episode probably nah, the, the fourth i'm sorry so this is the second one the fourth one is going to be about creating a Delphrid model with that being said see ya thanks for watching